what to give the review for it. Um, I mean, I would probably say uh, two words, one review. Review being 10 out of 10. Um, and the two words being premium product. That's it. The most premium product I think my hands have ever touched, really. Hi guys, my name is Etsy Bitsy and welcome to the review of the Astro C40. absolutely amazing it's almost like a dream it's it's almost like your hands are touching clouds um but in, in like the best way possible it's almost like so smooth like a baby's butt i mean the finish on it is just absolutely incredible i i don't know how to explain it without you actually like touching it you, like 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 having it in your hands yourself you know what i mean Welcome to our next review video, you guys. I am very, very excited about this one. And uh, that specifically is going to be about this product sitting right over here. Uh, it's going to be the Astro C40 Elite Controller. I have never, ever had a Scuf or uh, an Astro gaming controller before, so this would be my first ever uh, review of any sort of uh, gaming controller like this, um, more of the Elite series as it were, but I am very, very excited. I went to GameStop, I knew what the price is going to be, it does retail for $199.99 at GameStop and I believe on their website as well, so as far as pricing goes, it is going to be a bit of a heftier controller. Um, I know a lot of the scuffs start at like 130 range and go up as you customize them. Um, this thing just starts flat uh, rate of $199 um, and I was a little hesitant for the price point of is it going to be worth it, is it not, I guess I'll find out when I purchase it. The unboxing experience was really really cool so I'm going to walk you through that really quick. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long, uh, I just want to give you guys the highlights and some, some b-roll and some uh, awesome footage of this controller to see and decide if you guys want to go out and get one. Um, definitely do your research before uh, check out all these other different elite controllers pro controllers out there to decide if this controller is going to be the best one for you uh, but in my where's a cup just a couple days of use I could clearly tell that this is definitely a controller I want to hang on to and that I made a impeccable choice uh, for the c40 as my main PS4 and PC controller. So, uh, what I have right here is the C40 uh, box, and uh, this is this is what you're gonna get. Ah. This is what you're gonna get when you first uh, purchase the controller, back of the box. Um, then you slide this off right here, okay? And you get this, and you get a few a few cool graphics, um, you got cool graphics on the side, you got cool schematics on the back, okay? Um, and, and then, all of a sudden, I mean, just really, really cool boxing experience, right? You, you get a soft shell container here um, that you pull out, and of course it has the Astro logo, which, you know, obviously. You open it up, and the controller literally is sitting right there in the center. You have the styrofoam that it sits on, and then you take that off, and you have spaces for uh, extra D-pads, extra um, things to, to store. This is the USB dongle for um, the wireless connection uh, if you're not using wired it comes with both I was hesitant that it would only come with one um, But it does come with a six foot long cord uh, for you to have a wired connection So it works brilliant for me because I literally sit next to my ps4 um, So it's always going to be plugged in and uh, the lowest latency is going to be in the wired connection But if you're traveling and you need to plug in or if you just you know far away from your ps4 across the room um, the dongle right there uh, is there for you to use and then you get this awesome little tool but that's to take the uh, the plates off the front plates off of the controller so you could actually change up the modules super cool travel container now moving on to the controller uh, itself so uh, this right here whole baby as soon as you pick it up you will understand 
you will understand why perhaps this is a $200 uh, value on this thing, right? Because, it, like I said in the beginning of the video, you actually don't understand until you feel the freaking controller in your hands, right? First things first, I need to get this out of the way. Whatever material they used on the controller is one of the most premium surfaces I have ever touched. It is super, super smooth to the touch. Like, it, it actually feels like you're touching, like, uh, a baby skin or something. Like, it's just so soft to the touch. We do have ventilated grips on the side. Um, I have actually found from, like, eight hours of gaming uh, per day that my hands sweat way less, probably like more than half um, less the, using this controller than just my standard like PS4 controller. Um, it is absolutely crazy. Um, so, I mean, obviously better grip, better control of the entire thing when you're doing your gaming sessions, but um, I have found that whatever material they have used, and it, it is around the entire controller, um, it is so beautiful to just have in your hands, to feel, to game, um, and is the most comfortable after eight hours of use. It is, my hands don't get tired, they don't cramp, they don't sweat, like it is the most amazing experience that I have had in a controller so far. This does have a faceplate with these four screws, um, doing this backwards but with these four screws uh, on the faceplate and I haven't taken mine off yet because I, I really like whatever it comes with um, I believe they're medium I'm not sure if they're medium or um, or short but um, I really like the the height of the default um, sticks that it comes with and every single region um, of the the controller it can be manipulated to whatever you want so if you want uh, two controller sticks on this side uh, you want to move this one to here it is doable and if you vice versa if you want to uh, switch them and have you know two whatever however you want to configure this controller you literally take off the the uh, front face plate and it, literally they're just little zones that you just uh, little units that you just like pick up transfer plop over um, I think they have like a little insignia red line that you can match up and whatever um, and you know literally reconfigure the controller however you want uh, I'm not saying that I don't know why you would want to do that but whatever um, for me this layout is absolutely perfect like I said I haven't uh, manipulated the controller in uh, any possible way so I absolutely love it the way it is um, eventually I will obviously but um, you know this is perfect how it comes I do want to eventually try the higher sticks see if my accuracy increases decreases whatever um, it, the middle button also does have a PlayStation insignia on it um, this is like it says on the box it is fully licensed by PlayStation um, here so you literally don't need to worry about you know oh is it gonna sink is it gonna whatever so no worries there um, also the other thing that I want to uh, cover was the back of the controller um, and if you see so you see there's two little red buttons right there and then two paddles so when you hold the controller my hands literally fit perfectly over both of those buttons this is how I hold the controller a lot of people were saying that, oh, this controller is too big, it's too wide, uh, whatever, whatever, right? Um, it really depends on your hand size. If you do have small hands, this controller is probably not going to be for you. Uh, for the people that have just, you know, normal sized hands or even large hands, this controller literally fits perfectly in your hands. It is wider controller just from end to end. If you're comparing it to a scuff, a regular PS4, Xbox controller, whatever. But after a couple hours of use, you literally get used to it. It doesn't even matter. I mean, the controller could be this wide and it, it, you know, as long as it's comfortable, it's not gonna matter. Um, but anyway, these are going to be your trigger stops. So moving them down and uh, having the the regular regular travel and then the same finger that you could like move up from the triggers pop these bad boys up and you literally have half the trigger um, length now so that's what I play in 
Um, it does have just built-in trigger stops. I know the scuff has a little, you know, screw in the back of it that you just twist and, you know, it does, you know, the, the quick trigger uh, functionality as well. Um, I really enjoy the fact that these are just built-in uh, trigger stops where you don't even have to take your hands off the controller. You can literally just manipulate it from here. That pretty much wraps up the controller, you guys. I wanted to make this short and sweet, um, but I mean, all in all, this controller is the most comfortable I have ever held. The materials used are absolutely beautiful, and beautiful to the touch, beautiful to look at, beautiful to feel, um, extremely, extremely comfortable to game with, uh, and long sessions too. I mean, you know, do eight hour gaming sessions like I do, um, absolutely amazing. And um, overall, I mean, I, I would give this a solid 10 out of 10. Um, granted, I have not compared uh, any of the other controllers with this, I eventually will. Uh, I'm very interested to see future videos of me reviewing, you know, this controller compared to um, a scuff and, you know, all sorts of different other controllers as I acquire them more and more throughout the years. Um, but as my first pro controller, I could definitely say this is incredible, absolutely amazing. Um, I would say. You know, if they dropped it, if they dropped the price point to 150, it would probably be really, really nice. Um, but the fact that it's not, um, you do feel like royalty using this thing. Um, and simply just from the finishes they've used, um, how solidly built it is, and really just, I mean, Anyway, I apologize for my voice this video. I'm still trying to get over my cold, but I want to do this review video for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel. I would absolutely love the support. Please do remember that I do go live on Twitch uh, every Wednesday through Saturday, starting at 3 p.m. Colorado time. I would love to see you guys there. Uh, if you love the video and want to say hi to me when I'm live on my Twitch, please feel free to do so. I'd love to get to know you. Until next video, I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.